Hope you're having a great weekend. I am having a pretty good one. Hey man, how's it going? What's up, Marco? Josh Allen, where do you store your Blu-rays? Will Josh? The movies that I like, I just have a little TV cabinet. I keep them in the TV cabinet. Um, that's about it. Otherwise, uh, I don't have a lot of. I actually don't have a lot of 4K Blu-rays. I I usually after I watch them, I get them in the mail. I get them. I do the review, and then I will typically sell them off, unless I like them. If I like them, I th if I think they're like a going to be a collectible or something like that, like me, like a Star Wars. I'll keep them. Otherwise, I usually uh, I usually wait till I get a big bundle of them and I'll throw them on eBay. Sorry, or but but I do I do rip my 4Ks and I keep them on my hard drive. And I use um I use the Oppo to play them back on. So I've got like 26 terabytes of all my rip 4K Blu-rays which I keep. Uh, Sebastian, thanks for putting out the best 4K review content on the interwebs. Thanks, man. Kyle Schultz. Hey, Shane, how are you? How are you seeing Endgame, IMAX, Dolby Cinema, and 3D? I'm actually going to see it at one of the one of the um, local theaters here. It's uh, BTX. The IMAX here doesn't have any reserved seating, so we didn't want to go that route because we figured it's going to be sold out. And, you know, nobody likes to go into the theater and you got to wait in line and pick out your best seat. So our theater, which is a, it's like a bow tie cinema, it's a BTX. It's got the nice reserved seating, leather, it's got the tray tables. Uh, we're going to be going to that BTX. It's got a big screen. I'm going to say it's obviously not as big as like a, a real IMAX theater, but it's pretty darn big though. So we're going to see it there. It's got Atmos, large screen, leather seating. It's got beer. Come on, man. Can't beat that. So that's how we're going to see that. Um, Field of Dreams review coming up. I didn't even know Field of Dreams was coming out, to be honest with you. I haven't seen that movie in, like, decades. <clears throat> Zachary Faley should... You should check out Mini DSP and the BEQ thread on EVS forum. You could do a good video on it and how you can fix all these horribly <laughs> filtered movies you review with weak bass. <clears throat> I could do that. I mean, I had the the Mini DSP, which is basically like Dirac. I had the NAD in for review, and that has you know that has Dirac in there, so you can you can EQ your bass with that. Although it's only one subwoofer that you can EQ. Um, but it does work really well though. I did think about getting the mini DSP because uh, I've got a few subs So that definitely would come in handy. I, I might check it out. I mean, they don't cost that much money, so I might check it out But yeah, but, but usually if I'm doing a, a review and it's got weak base on it I mean if it's got weak base, I don't want to artificially bump it up because <clears throat> once you compensate for that particular soundtrack Then you got to recompensate for all the other soundtracks that are normal so if I'm watching like Marvel, like Captain America or uh, The Last Avengers, Infinity War, which had weak bass, I'd have to, you know, switch out my settings just to compensate for the low bass. Then if I go back to like Aquaman or Blade Runner or whatever else is new that's come out, which is normal, then I'd have to revert back to my normal settings, which, you know, I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to, I can't give you guys a, a straight review saying that it's got great bass after I've changed it from normal settings. So that would be kind of false, falsifying the review. So that's why that's why I don't do that. <clears throat> um, but, but, but what else we got here? Damien Borlegis, hi Shane. I'm setting up a home theater room. Would you go 235 or 16 by nine? I have an Optoma UHD 65, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. Also, any advice? Good <laughs> fixed screen. Uh, actually, which is what's this guy's name again? Uh, Damien. I actually have. I'm going to be doing a, a projector screen review, Damien, in a, probably a couple weeks. I've got the affordable elite screens. They're sending me a 239 screen, which I'll be getting in Tuesday. Uh, it's 239 by one. It's a matte white. I picked the matte white screen because I don't have any windows in my theater. 
So they actually, they actually wanted me to check out the ambient light rejecting screen. But that wouldn't make sense in my theater because I don't have any light in there. <clears throat> so I opted to go with the, the Cinema White 239 at 125 inches. Um, getting the edgeless border, flat screen. Even though I did put in, I wanted to get a curved screen, but they sent me the flat one. But that's fine though. But yeah, if I were you and you got the uh, UHD 65, um, I would definitely. Me personally, I mean, most most movies are in cinema scope. They're in 239. So if I were you, well, if I was me, I would buy the the 239 screen. Just because the majority of movies are going to be in 239. And then for those rare occasions that you get a 16 by 9 movie or an IMAX movie, yeah, you're going to see black bars on the left and the right. But no, for the majority of the time, 239 is going to be what most of the movies are going to be shot in. So that's what I would do. That's what I have done. That's why I did it. So that's my advice to you. Uh, this is from Vin. If one buys a 514 Atmos DTS X from scratch, um, how much in terms of portions of the budget should one spend for the receiver center, left, right, surround, and the Atmos speakers? Um, I guess you're asking me how much should you allocate for your home theater budget, Vin? If I was going to do, if I was building from scratch, first of all, you got to have your budget set. So come up with your budget, and then ideally your your biggest your biggest expenditure would be on the speakers, because speakers are gonna typically outlast your electronic components and your receiver, you know, all that stuff. So allocate the most money that you can you can put towards your speakers. That's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna spend your biggest bucks. And get the best speakers you can get. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you can't get the best electronics, get the best speakers you can get. Then from then on, you know, save a little extra money, you get a better receiver as time goes on or better separates. I mean, if I was going to do it, I would do speakers, get yourself a nice processor, different uh, separate amplifier. That's how I would do it. Oh, Zachary Faley. No movie is the same. You're not artificially bumping anything. Each movie has its own DEQ. Well, Zachary. If you're aware of how to calibrate your audio, your audio levels, at either like a 75 or 85 dB, where all your levels are level matched, you should know that you're not going to be artificially bumping up your subwoofer or just changing anything. If you're changing anything, you're changing it based on preference and your taste, which is totally fine, which is what you're referring to. So yes, every, uh, Every movie should be mastered at a specific level, reference level. There are reference levels in cinema. Uh, and if you're at home and it's mixed lower or higher than normal, something's mixed hotter, if you're at that reference level, then you should be maintaining, you know, the integrity of the, the sound mixes as per reference level. So you're, you're saying I should bump up my bass per movie. Then if I do a movie and I say, hell, this has got tremendous bass, but make sure you, you you augment that by doing this and this and this and this, which some people don't want to do, or some people just don't want to do it. How am I going to know if it's mixed lower or not? If my bass is is if I'm just you know raising it or lowering it as as need be as preference, that's not that's not how a review should work. But I understand what you're saying though. But no, there's reference levels for a reason. Uh, next question, Laptop Doc, free solo release in 3D Blu-ray would be nice. I, sh I didn't see that movie. I think that's the movie about the rock climbing, if I'm not mistaken. I did see like a YouTube documentary on it, which was pretty cool. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oscar Bautista, finger, the middle finger. Thank you. Thanks, Oscar. I appreciate that uh, you came here to give me the middle finger. Uh, Marius Oren, where is Brass Tax? Uh, Brass Tax has given up the YouTube game. <clears throat> I'm thinking that uh, he was doing YouTube for a while, I think for like a good year, 
I don't know if he's in the chat room right now, but he's given up. I think he stopped after he hit about 6,000 subscribers. Mm, I guess he just couldn't hack it anymore, you know what I mean? YouTube's not for like everybody. It requires a, I don't know. It can be time consuming. Let's just, let's just put it that way. <clears throat> if you don't have a lot of time to make the videos and keep uploading on a consistent basis, then you know, I think he was just kind of busy with work, so he just kind of gave up on that. Or I could be totally wrong, but that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, Andreas Sleeman, greetings from Switzerland. <clears throat> What's up, man? Greetings, Andreas. Um, Ted says, hey, Shane, did you ever review... <clears throat> Jason Bourne 4K discs. I thought the DTS X on those discs were kind of weak. <clears throat> Actually, I did. <clears throat> well, Ted, I did see the Jason Jason Bourne discs, and they all look like they all kind of look like garbage. So I didn't do them. But yeah, you're not right on that. The uh, DTS X was kind of weak on that. Uh, would you ever consider making a top ten wish list for 4K plus HDR update to older movies? For example, it's a shame there's nothing for the Grand Budapest Hotel or Rogue One, Midnight in Paris, etc. Oh, we're doing a wish list. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I would do a wish list. I mean, wish list. I, I would put Fight Club on my wish list. I love Fight Club, <clears throat> but that would uh, that require me require me to do a lot of thinking about older movies. I don't want to do a lot of thinking. That's why I'm on YouTube. Um, Diego to the Bay, how do you get Blu-ray so early to review? Well, I get Blu-rays early, usually, well, I didn't used to get Blu-ray Blu-rays early. Um, I used to usually just had to wait to buy them. But, you know, after I've built up a lot of uh, subscribers, then I was, you know, you get contacted by studios to to offer you, to offer you copies. And then sometimes, sometimes I'll just go on eBay and uh, those guys... Like, let's say, um, How to Train Your Dragon. I believe that came out last week in, like, Australia or something like that. So I think I had to buy it on eBay, which was, like, a month early. I think we get it in another two weeks or something like that in, in the U.S. So it's either, like, eBay. There's always guys selling movies early on eBay, so you can always go eBay. But then you're always kind of paying a little bit more because, you know, they charge you more. Then if you buy it on eBay... They're only going to sell you the 4K, they're going to keep the Blu-ray, and then they'll keep the digital code. So you're just going to get the the case and the 4K. So that's how I get my movies. Either through the studios, directly they'll send them to me, or I'll hit up eBay if it's something really big that I, that I want to get early. That's like the main question everybody always asks me, how do I get them? I always tell people, just go, just go on eBay. Anybody can get a movie early if you go on eBay. But you're not going to get the whole package though. Uh, what are your top 10 favorite 4K movies that you like? Mm, that's a tough one. I do have top 10 lists on the channel, at least, you know, per year. So you can always check that out. Uh, Pop Gojira. Uh, Poet, I should turn... Should I turn on dynamic compression off or auto on my Marantz AVP? Well, Poet, Poty. Uh, you would want to turn dynamic compression off because you don't want your your audio to be compressed dynamically. You want it to just be normal, so you want to keep that off. I think I think I mentioned that in my I think I mentioned that on the my preamp reviews. I'm pretty sure I do. I think I do. Um, AKA Zimba, what's up, man? He's, this guy's always here. What avenue of tech would you like to review that you currently don't? Hmm. What kind of tech would I like to review? I was gonna start doing cell phones, but then there's like a bazillion people that do cell phones. Cause I, I had the Sony 21 by nine um, Xperia 10, which I thought would be a good video since it's 21 by nine aspect ratio phone. So I thought that would be good. So I started shooting that, but then I stopped because I realized that it would make more sense if I waited for the Xperia um, X1, which is 
21 by 9 and it's 4K and HDR. So I figured I would wait to pop off in the cell phone game after that phone drop because that kind of makes sense for the channel. You know, since it's a it's an OLED screen, it's 4K, it's HDR, and it's 21 by 9. So that made more sense if I hung out to do that. But I don't, I don't think I'll, I'll venture into that too much because you got those, those huge bigger YouTube guys that are just doing that. <clears throat> the Raf Cave. What's up, man? What's up, Raf? Oh, where'd you go? Where's that? What's going on, man? I see, uh, I see, Raf, your channel's been getting a little bigger. You've been growing over there. You've been doing a lot of uh, video game stuff, I see, as well. Uh, but happy Easter. Thank you. Uh, Rick Shaver, should I mount my Dolby Atmos speakers on the back wall or front wall in a 512 setup? What would be a better setup? Mm, I would put it in the front wall because, uh, at least for me, I, I hear more stuff coming from my top fronts than I do in the top rear. So I would do, I would do the top front. Unless you just don't have space on the top front, then I would do the rear. Um, Linnell Desundes, question. I just purchased a 295ES, and after getting it all set up, I'm having issues watching 3D movies. I'm only able to get the simulated 3D to work. Any suggestions? Mm, that's a good question. Well, if, well, congrats on your 295ES. That's a good project. That's like the baby version of what I got. Um, so first of all, I would check to make sure that your 3D movies, that your player is actually... A 3D player. Other than that, I don't know what else could be wrong unless you're just not watching 3D discs. But your player's got to be 3D. You got to have the 3D glasses. You got to have the compatible 3D glasses. Like the ones I use are Expand. I think they're Expand 105s. Um, I think the Ra I think Raf is here too. I don't know if Raf watches. Uh, I don't know if he watches 3D or not. But I think he has a 285, which does 3D. But I don't know what glasses you use, Raf. If you if you got some glasses you can recommend, let them know. But I use the Expand 105s. Those work great. I think they were better than the Sony ones, and they're fairly cheap. They're like 30 bucks. Mm, but yeah, check out to see that your Blu-ray player is actually 3D. That you're watching 3D movies. And other than that, I don't know what else could be wrong. To be honest with you, but I would I would check that out. Uh, Jimmy Atkinson, I have uh, M5 5.1 MK speakers, and I'm thinking of shifting to the same speakers you have in your home theater. Man, do it. I'm thinking, where are you? Must be, uh, are you in Norway too? Just from the looks of your last name. First, I'm going to get the 150 MK, but the Rendell 1723 is, is cheaper. Thanks for the tips from Sweden. Oh, sorry, you're from Sweden. <laughs> um,. So I have, I've got the original, I've got the original, the OG S150s. I hear the newer ones are supposed to be better. I never got the newer ones because I just felt that uh, they weren't the original MKs. You know what I mean? Like they weren't made by the same guys. So they were kind of just bought out and then, you know, kind of reconfigured, kind of rejiggered around by these Danish people. So I never got the newer ones. I stayed with the original ones. Um, but I mean, the original ones, legendary speakers, fantastic speakers. I've had them for forever. I've liked those speakers more than any other speakers that I've, that I've owned up until I got the Rendell speakers, the 1723s. Um, I liked, for me personally, I would do the Rendell speakers just because I've got them. I don't know what else the the new MKs are gonna are gonna offer you. These ones sound better than the original S150s, and they definitely sound better than the M5s. Plus, uh, just the response, the sound quality of them. They're they're built better, they got better cabinets, better enclosures, very done, a huge sound stage. The MKs nice sounding sound stage but they're I don't know what the new ones are going to be like but I know the older the older uh, 150s which I still have they're actually right over there um, they're very directional you really got to be good with your with your setup and positioning I don't know if that's changed from the new ones or not 
but uh, per back back then in the uh, you know THX days when the original 150s came out, they're very kind of stringent on how placement is and dispersion patterns are. I don't know if that's still what's going on with the new ones or not, but for setting up the original ones, you really had to. They actually included a laser pointer so you can so you can uh, tow in the speakers so you can get them nice and perfect just so everything sounded you had the best uh, sound stage possible so like um, towing in and everything like that and distance was always kind of a crucial thing critical thing with the original 150s the Rendell speakers they're a bit more forgiving they have that waveguide that waveguide is just like throws out like the biggest sound stage you know that I've heard so far in my theater um, I would I would say that's kind of similar to like a Klipsch horn, track tricks horn, but with a much kind of sweeter, sweeter high end, sweeter top top range than Klipsch is going to give you. But directionality, it's going to be similar to like what which we get from a Klipsch horn or just a horn speaker in general. Um, but for me, for me, Jimmy, I would go with the uh, I'll go with the Arendel speakers. But you know, it's everybody hears differently. If you can audition the MK 150s, then give them a shot. And I know the Rendles give you a 60 day trial period, I think. So you can try that as well. It's probably easier for you to get the Rendles than most people here because I guess you're in Sweden, so. But yeah, man, uh, let us know what you go with. If you go with the MKs, they're, I'm, I'm sure the new ones are awesome. And I know the Rendle speakers are awesome. So let us know what you pick up. All right, next question, Shane. What are the differences between Dolby Vision and HDR? Um, well, the difference between Dolby Vision and HDR. Dolby Vision is is a dynamic metadata, which uh, switches on a kind of scene by scene, frame by frame basis. HDR is just static, so it's one level all the time, so it doesn't it can't fluctuate up and down. So that's why a lot of people prefer Dolby Vision because you know. You can get better detail in highlights, you can get better details in in the shadows. So that's one of the main things about Dolby Vision is that it changes dynamically, like frame by frame. HDR stays the same. Jonathan R, hi from France. What's up, Jonathan R? Wolfboy, 1946, will they ever redo Iron Man in 4K? They have done almost all the other movies. So I had a question about, uh, I believe a gentleman had bought the German Iron Man 4K movies, which I think are there were they were released by um, Concord, which is kind of like a side path to getting some licensing uh, deals through Disney to make, the, like they were making like their own upscaled uh, Blu-rays and selling them as 4K, which they were basically just like, I think they were like DVDs or Blu-rays that were just upscaled to 4K, which anybody could do. And they just look like, they look like garbage. They're probably like the worst 4Ks I've ever seen are those Iron Man 4K Blu-rays you can buy. And they look like garbage. But from what I heard, I heard like August time is the official Disney 4K releases. At least that's what I hear. Um, have you seen Our Planet on Netflix? Amazing PQ. I skimmed through it really quick. Uh, be honest with you, I'm not a big documentary guy. Watching Planet Earth 2, 4K Blu-ray. That thing was like, what is it, like six hours or four hours? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little painful. <laughs> that was really painful. That was like one of the earliest uh, reviews we did was Planet Earth. I think uh, Bill came over, Elias came over. We sat down with like a case of beer and watched Planet Earth for like six hours. Yeah, that was... Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a nice looking disc, but not something I'd rewatch again. Uh, Alton Moore, salute, bro. What's up, Alton? What do you personally think about Oral 3D? It does it have a future in home cinema. What do I think about Oral 3D? Do I think it has a future? Um, no, I don't think it has a future at all. I mean, you, there's like no content. If you have no content to watch at home, then what use is it? Like, really? I mean, the, um, I'm sure it's a, you know, it upmixes, has some cool upmixing, but you can upmix with um, Dolby Atmos and Neural X. But, but if there's nothing to watch in Oral 3D, then what's the point of having it? 
It's like having AKTVs right now. Why buy an AKTV if you can't really use it? There's nothing really to watch. You're not really maximizing your picture quality. And Oro 3D has been out like for years now. And there's like a couple of like um, European movies or German movies, you know, imports that are on Blu-ray. I think like Blade Runner, Spider-Man, just to name like a couple. But I think there's only like a handful of like Oro 3D native titles. But I, I don't see that taking off anytime soon. Tylee, what's up Tylee? Have you heard any DTS X 4K Blu-rays that have good to great sound? Uh, yeah, Ty, I think I think the, the Jurassic Park movies are really good. If I remember correctly, I think those are pretty good. Mm, the top of my, that's, that's about it at the top of my head, actually, as uh, Jurassic Park's. You'd have to go back and check out some of my videos. I can't, I can't remember them all. <laughs> I watch too many movies. How should you watch HDR dark, normal, or bright? How should you watch HDR normal, bright? Well, I mean, I think those uh, those settings are like HDR dark and bright. If you're in a bright environment, then you would, you're supposed to put on HDR bright, and then if you're in a dark room, then you would typically put on HDR dark. That's how that's supposed to work. Um, Lord Teletubby, have I heard the Nakamichi shockwave? I haven't heard of the Nakamichi shockwave. Actually, the Nakamichi guy, he contacted me a while back to do the um, to do that review, and then he uh, he ended up giving the review sample to somebody else. I think you might know that somebody else, so that's why I didn't get that. That's why I didn't get that review sample. Uh, Prentice Weston. I also don't understand this whole. I mean, where would it go? How this whole IMAX enhanced home theater system. Do you know what that's all about? Mm, well, the IMAX enhanced is basically just it's kind of like a certification thing where it's supposed to. It's like a certification. So they're supposed to. It's kind of like THX almost. Like DTS X is supposed to create like a special mix where certain sounds will be it's basically just a certification that's all it is really that's all it is you're supposed to be guaranteed a certain level of a picture quality like it's supposed to look a specific way sound it's supposed to sound a certain way so you're supposed to have a compatible display compatible receiver i think the dts dts x mixes are they're mixed a little bit hotter um than the typical dts x mix and you know picture quality you're supposed to get a certain level with certain, like my projector is DT or is uh, IMAX enhanced. And I checked out, I checked out one thing. Um, it was one of the IMAX enhanced movies, like that space, space station one. And to be honest with you, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything special at all. Actually, it didn't even look that great. It looked all right. But it's just a certification just to guarantee that you're getting a certain level, certain quality of, of image and sound quality. That's all it really is. Um, Jamie Corey is, uh, Shane, is someone going to address the fake HDR labels on Walmart TV brands? All those TVs don't support wide color gamut. They are very dim and lackluster contrast ratio. Well, to be honest with you, I haven't been, I haven't been into a uh, Walmart, at least in the elect electronic section for, for a while. Last time I go to, the only time I go to Walmart is to uh, stock up my little concession stand there. Other than that, I haven't been uh, to their TV department, their electronics department, forever. I think that what do they sell like Element TVs or something like that, RCA TVs and Elements, and some cheap cheap Samsungs. But I don't, yeah, I haven't. Can't really speak to that. I haven't been there forever. Uh, what do you think about the TCL Six series? Mm, I actually thought about. You know, I might actually might get a TCL Six series just to like review this year because, you know, they're. They're good-looking TVs. I've seen them multiple times. Um, seem like on a, on a daily basis, actually. I think they're really good TVs for for the money you get. You get a lot of good features on it. It puts out a good good picture quality. You know, I'm gonna say it's right up there, like the Vizio M series or E series. A little bit better, not quite P series, but they're they're right in that same ballpark as Vizio. 
And I, I have a couple of Vizio TVs right now. I have one in my office right here. I got Vizio 50 inch M series, and that puts out a really good image, just just like the TCL. Um, it's got Dolby Vision and HDR, all that good stuff. Really good image. I would, you know, for the money, it was like four or five hundred bucks for like a 50, 55 inch. You know, if you don't have a lot of money, that's a good buy. Has anything in your mind? Surpass Blade Runner 2049 as a complete 4K package. Mm. Blade Runner 2049. I'm gonna say Aquaman is, is pretty close. Aquaman is pretty close. I think I gave would I get Blade Runner like a perfect 10? 10 for audio and sound. Aquaman is not that far off. Let me tell you, would I give him like a 9.9 .9 for Aquaman? Maybe if Aquaman wasn't in IMAX and it was just in 239, maybe I would have gave it a 10 all the way around. <laughs> uh, another another Brass Tax question. Where's Brax Tess? Brax, Brass Tax? Brass told me that he uh, he quit. He's not coming back anytime soon. I beat him as the 4K rock star, so if you want to call me the 4K rock star, I can now be the 4K rock star. Goddamn. Spare change is now the 4K rock star. All right, so, Brass, I'm sorry, I'm taking it. From now on, I'm gonna end my videos. Spare change, hashtag, 4K rock star. <laughs> oh, look, we have another, we have another Shane. We have another Shane in the chat room. What TV do you review? What TV do you review on? Shane asked me what TV I review on. So the last video I put up, I think it was. Uh, the Winter Soldier, I, I, I specifically made sure I put down that I always put down my, my review equipment in the description down below. Actually, I pointed out this out last time because at the beginning, I don't know, for some reason, those last two movies, everybody's been asking me, like, what do I use my, what do I use to review movies on? So you can always check right below in the description. Everything that I use, you can check out. I, I think I've got a video too of my home theater. It's older now, I gotta do it like an upgraded video, home theater tour video, because I've gotten some new stuff in. But yeah, all my stuff in the in the description of every single video, you'll see my TV, you'll see the projector, you'll see the speakers, the amps, the camera that I use to do the videos, everything is gonna be right down below. And there's links to everything, so you can just click on the link, check out the devices, the gear. And if you wanna buy them, use those links. Helps out the channel. Mystic Knight 23. Question, could you put on the left and right walls SVS Prime Elevation Height Surrounds? Whoever Dolby Atmos doesn't support that configuration, the only support it in the rear heights. Uh, could you put them on the sides? I mean, the whole, the whole uh, idea of like heights is, you know, obviously being higher than your lower bed channels. But yeah, I don't see why it would be too much of a problem if um, your lower seven or five channels are actually at ear level and then you put the the prime elevations to the left and right up higher and I think they're, they're angled too so they're gonna direct sound towards you so I don't see a problem with doing that configuration so I would do it if that's where you gotta do it that's what you gotta do wanna be comedy I was thinking about starting my own home theater but was having a struggle trying to figure out whether I should get a TV or projector, what do you use? See, here's that question again, wannabe comedy. At the, at the bottom of the description of all my videos, there's a, there's a home theater tour. Please check out that video and the associated equipment that's, that's there. Actually, I think in this live stream, there's a whole, if you go in the description, there's a whole list of stuff that I use. And there's also, I also have a video about TVs versus projectors. So if you search on the channel, you can check out TV or projector. That'll give you some pros and cons of both TVs and projectors. Uh, Brendan Campbell, is Alien 100% worth the 4K upgrade? Um, I think so. I liked it. I looked really good. I was surprised how good it looked, actually. It actually looked better than some uh, more recent movies that I've seen. The sound, uh, sound, on the other hand, it sounds like an old movie. I mean, there's only so much you can do with uh, movies that old. You know what I mean? It's not like Star Wars where they go back and just totally redo everything, but but for a movie that old from back in like what is it, 79 I think it came out. 
It's got really good, really good picture quality. Um, Vinigan, can you comment on the difference when going from a soundbar kit? Which I bought, <laughs> the LGS K9, which I bought after reviews, and the SPK8, to discrete 512 proper speaker setup. Uh, well, Vin, I don't want to get into too much detail, but yeah, a separate speakers obviously would sound better than, than a soundbar. If you want to check out my soundbar versus speaker review, I have a video up. I think it's only, it's only like five or seven minutes long. It's a pretty quick watch that sh should answer most of your questions. So there is a video of that on the channel. Big Kane in the house. What's up, Big Kane? Happy Easter. Thanks. Big Kane's always here. Uh, got a lot of questions here. <clears throat> Lord Teletubby, we don't get TCL TVs in the UK. Oh man, sorry. Well, well, if you got Vizio, kind of the same thing. To be honest with you. Uh, Jamie Corey, hi. I just bought the TCL 55R 617 delivered yesterday. The picture is freaking awesome. I would say very comparable to the Vizio PQ65. Well, there you go, man. Congrats on that one. That's a good TV. And it's not that expensive. What was it? What, I think it cost you like what, 450 or something like that. Sony has Adobe Atmos soundbar. Uh, <laughs> username, when who? Uh, Sony has a Adobe Atmos soundbar coming out end of this month for 350 bucks. Will you be reviewing it? Mm, probably not. Um, usually, if I get a review, then I tr I try to get the best one that they have. You know what I mean? I try not to do the uh, try not to do the inexpensive one. Although I know that a lot of people like to get the inexpensive ones. But uh, usually, usually those cheaper ones, they really don't do much. They really don't do much for me, so I'd rather not get it and give it like a bad review and, and say it sounds like garbage. So that's why I don't do the, the cheaper stuff. Um, best position for height speakers on a five one two setup. Um, yeah, what's the best position for a five one two setup? I mean, if you can put them, if you can put them on your ceiling, right above your head, yeah, that's the best way to do it. I mean, um, I know that that's where the Atmos speakers go. If you're in a theater, the Atmos speakers are literally above you. They're not actually in the front or back walls. They're right above your head. So that's why they call overheads for a reason. But I get it. Some people just can't put speakers on top of their head. So, but for me, that's that's where I have mine mounted. If you can mount them on top of your head, best way to do it. Because when you get in flyovers like I've heard people with speakers on the front walls and the and the back walls it sounds it sounds good but it doesn't really sound like literally sound like it's coming over your head it sounds like it's coming from above and kind of shooting at you um for me personally if if you hear have it over your head it, it literally sounds like it's coming from it's coming from above your head because it's, it's located above your head so that's kind of the best way to do it if you can do it Um, Garrick KC, KCG, what's the best 4K movie overall that has the best picture and audio? Well, Garrick, I have a top 10 video list from 2018, I think 2017. I will check out that list. Chris Morrow, does that mean you inherit Kong Tax 2? <laughs> Press doesn't need him anymore. <laughs> you know, do I have any stuff else? You know what? You know what I got? I got I got something. I got something I can put in these videos. Oh. All right, so Brass has got contacts. I, I have this guy. I got this guy. Huh. I'm not contacts, but I am. <laughs> okay, you're the reviewer. <laughs> okay, that's my Yoda impression. It's not very good. <laughs> oh, here's a here's a good one. Here's a good one. Oh, hold on a second. This one is from Parker Brendan. I love it when these guys come in the uh, comment section, or even when they come into the the live stream. Parker Brendan says, "Bitch, ass." 
And I'm not going to say this one because I don't want people to hate me, but it's not for me though, but Parker Brendan, Parker Brendan, he may actually be a racist. So Parker, if you're a racist, man, you're not really welcome here. So I'll let the other, I'll let the other subscribers, commenters deal with you in their own way. Mm. But yeah, that's, that's not a good look, Parker. Um, next up, next up, what do we got here? Oh, but anyways, maybe I'll bring Yoda in on future videos, so we'll see. <laughs> Mystic Knight 23, haha, I meant on the left right walls near the ceiling. Um, on the Denon receiver, Dolby Atmos doesn't support that. Like they would as rear heights, if that makes sense. Well, I meant left right walls near the ceiling. I'm guessing you're meaning behind you on the left right walls? I, I'm not sure what you mean, but they should be, well, Mystic Knight, just as long as they're above your, you know, your lower seven channels, then you should be all right, just as long as they're higher and directed towards your listening area. If that's your, if that's your question. Um, Starscape PG, um, PG1, okay. What are your thoughts on Onkyo receivers? So, so Starscape, here's the thing about Ankyo receivers. I liked Ankyo receivers back in the day, but I mean, uh, I've had, I've owned a bunch of Ankyo receivers actually, but recently, even, even still today, they've been kind of played with real, with really shoddy HDMI boards. And, uh, supposedly they had fixed them, but I've owned a couple, a couple of Ankyos in the past and the HDMI's always went bad. And up until recently, I had the Integra, which is basically an Ankyo. It's just a more custom install friendly Ankyo. And uh, that kind of developed some HDMI problems too. So um, if I was going to get an Ankyo and you've owned it for a couple years, then I would still be kind of wary about, um, about the HDMI situation over there. I mean, they're really, they're quick to depending on where you live, like I'm in Connecticut and the Ankyo distribution center is in New Jersey. So it's like two hours away from here. So depending on where you live, they're really good at fixing the HDMI problems that uh, at least that I've had. And I know that other, other people have had usually turnaround time is really fast, but I would keep that in mind. I know, I know some of their, some of their products, bad HDMI boards. Other than that, I mean, um, I've used the Integra for two years now, and that's one of my favorite, favorite uh, preamp processors. The Akio's just as good. You get a lot of features, a lot of bang for your buck, uh, as, you know, like comparable Denon and Marantz receivers. I think they're, I think it's a good buy if uh, that's what you're looking at. So in essence, they want um, them as rear heights. So behind you, uh, at the top of ceiling. Problem is, my sofa is backed up to the rear wall, so the sound would fly right over us. Well, I think that's why the um, well, Mystic Knight. So when you're when you're placing the elevation speakers, either on the front wall, or the back wall, or the side walls they are angled so they're meant to direct sound towards you so you would just you'd have to angle the speakers at your couch that's what you would have to do whether it's coming from the front or on the side walls that's how that would work uh parker brandon is still going at uh, he's still going at it. oh here we go park parker brandon he's still at it oh there he is <laughs> Brass Tax is here. Brass Tax is here. Finally. Finally, Brass. Brass has made the chat. Hmm. Where's Kong Tax? Just tell everybody that you retired, okay? Tell everybody that you retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me scroll down. I didn't know he was here. Brass Tax, back, back on my B-Day, May 1st. 
Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, despite Brass saying that he's coming back May 1st, I'm going to say, what can I do as a giveaway just to prove that he's not going to come back May 1st? Maybe I'll give away, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give away Civil War. I'll give away like Civil War on 4K Blu-ray. If he comes back on May 1st, how, how can I, how can I put this here? Mm, I should, I should put it like, a poll. maybe I'll put up a poll on, uh, on a, whether or not Brass Tax is going to show up on the channel. <laughs> But uh, but May first, May first, he ain't gonna show up on May first. I'm sorry, sorry guys, I don't mean to break your hearts. Brass tax is not coming back on May first. The man's been gone for like eight months now. <laughs> uh, Ian Dog, Ian Doggett, Shane, what do you think about Sonos? Hold on, one second. Let me just uh, let me just do this. <laughs> Let me just do this. Oh, his real name is Satch, by the way. Sonny. There he is. Woohoo! If I see a video with Woo. yoga, if I see a, <laughs> if I see a yoga video one time. You know, it's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> hell to pay. Retiring. You know what? I'm upset. I'm going to tell you why. Why do people think I'm dead, Shane? What have you been saying? Mm. People say, rest in peace and shit. <laughs> rest in peace, Brass Tackle. You're dead. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Awesome. Hi, guys. I'm around. I'm around. Um, <coughs> listen. He's not around. If you think we should do a contacts versus Yoda video. Just type one or something. Shit. <laughs> Shame. Do, do you want me to lose subscribe? You want me to do a whole 4K review with Yoda? You know how many people are gonna unsubscribe from me? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, that's you true. you will be the new 4K rock. You'll be you will relinquish the title as 4K Rockstar if I do that. Listen, I'm always the champ. Listen, listen, listen. <coughs> that would be crazy if you if you did do a Yoda video. Yeah, you would. You, you, yeah, people are used to your reviews. You see, <laughs> the way you do things. I can do it on the live stream. I can do it on the live streams, though. Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, you don't have you don't have the talent for the Yoda. Thing, okay, <laughs> you got to make it look like you're not even there. Mm, right? Which get, up on mm, it? Excuse me, Shane is the fucking rock star. You are nothing. <laughs> You are Listen. you are the pattern, and Shane is the Jedi Master. Listen, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like spare change. I, I rock cards, okay? Yeah. So so just 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 be careful, Shane. That's what I'm saying. Shit. How's everyone doing? <coughs> uh, uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't think most of these people know who you are. <laughs> that's okay. We've got the few. I mean, you know, there's some people already know. Number one reviewer. Yeah, you know. You know what? Some people know. Some people know. Kevin Davies, he already knows. Mr. Knight, he already knows. Yeah? It's all good. <laughs> Dave yeah. saying spare changes king. Woo! I totally understand why you would say that. You know, you know, you know, Dave, we had this thing where he came up with the 4K Rockstar, and I did come up with the hashtag 4K King. It was just 4 King. Yeah, because 4K, 4K King, 4 King, that's original. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let me just type. 4K Maverick. Let me, uh, let me type that in the, in the, uh, daily here. Let's I'm just going to say this. I'm, I'm going to say this now live because I know Shane's, Shane's going to cut this out when he re-edits this video. But you got your spare change, you got your AR medias, and they all do what they do very well. There's no one quite like your boy, Boss. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest with this bitch. Shit. <laughs> Listen, what's with the racism on your on your comments? Oh, I don't know, man. Where where's yo Park Parker? If you're still on the channel, can you please throw out a couple more racist comments? Because we need you some. Know, I knew a we guy need some. Okay. Do things like this. Yeah. Yeah, he likes getting finger banged though, so I don't know. 
<laughs> Sorry, Shane. Excuse Wait. me, people like that. Mm-hmm. Wait, is, mm-hmm. he, is, he, is he still here? He's still here. Wait, is Parker still here? Parker, where are you? What's his, what his name again? Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, man, look at this. He, this guy is, like, enunciating his, uh, you know, if you guys scroll up. And I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, did he say something about you, too? Hold on. Oh, Brass, you are a fucker. <laughs> he must, listen, my personal life is nobody's business, all right? Yes, there, I am. Yeah, there we go. G- Gabe is uh Gabe says, "Hey Parker, can you please shut the fuck up?" <laughs> Parker. Oh, Parker. Yeah. You know what I don't like? If you're gonna be racist, be wholeheartedly racist. Say it. Don't start stretching words and just start well, censoring your own shit. It's a bit of a move. Well, he started I mean? he started spelling it with a G A R, but then towards the end here, he actually did 100 percent spell it out. So uh, correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still here? Where are you, buddy? I think I think they kicked him out. Yeah, I think he left. Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, uh, you see Dave Dave and his wife be missing my reviews. You see the bug I'm getting shade? Dave don't miss. No, nobody even knows. If anybody knows who Bra- if anybody doesn't know who Brass Tax is, please leave a comment right now down below. Uh, there's probably <laughs> a lot of people because, you know... <laughs> But but hold on. Samsung. Let's talk about let's talk about this Samsung AK TV. Let's talk about AK. What uh, about have AK. you seen? Let's have you seen it? AK. Have you seen it? Uh, have I seen AK TV? Have I seen an AK TV? In the new one. Yes. So the new Samsung yes. TV is the R nine hundred. Have you seen that? I've seen it in action. Uh huh. Yeah, I treacled when I saw it. It was that beautiful. Got a little treacle action. You know, got a little um, what's the word? Got aroused. Mm. You gonna get it? No, 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 no. I tell you what it is. No, no. You see, because you know, what I'm Shane, I've been saying to you I want to buy a new TV, but I've decided not to now. <laughs> no, 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 not to right now because every TV I want to buy has something missing. To get 3D, okay, we can leave the 3D now, right? But okay, OLED, okay. Nice, but I, I, I'm worried that I have to keep an eye on it. You know, with, with my TV, I want to leave it on, I want to go downstairs, I want to cook some pizza, I want to come back upstairs. I'm not worried that there's some kind of burning or some kind of artifact on the TV. Okay, with, with Samsung, they don't even have Dolby Vision in that bitch. I know, you know, what's you know, what's weird. I was thinking, uh, because I was thinking about getting a I was thinking about getting a Samsung, but um, just for like maybe like a secondary TV. But then I was thinking because they're gonna have the iTunes, iTunes is Dolby Vision. So how's that gonna work? Are they gonna have to dumb down all the Dolby Vision movies? You know what I mean? Well, when I watch, I've got the Apple TV. So when I watch it on my the HDR TV, yeah, you'll you'll get the HDR shit. So you'll get the HDR version because it's HDR and Dolby Vision, right? So You'll just get one of them. But I don't know. I, I, I don't think anyone's really missing out on Dolby Vision. But I think you probably disagree that. <clears throat> I mean, if there's a... If there's a... If there's a better version of HDR, then uh, why not have it? You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. That's what I think. Yeah, no, no. I, I get that. But I don't think the difference is that substantial. Yeah, I don't think it's like... I don't think it's... You know, I don't think it's massive. Hmm. I don't think you're, uh, you probably won't even notice it unless you had two TV side by side. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, like, you know, like, like if you're A. Yeah, if you're going to AB it, if you're going to, like if you had a Sony TV and your player could shut off Dolby Vision and watch HDR, then you go back and you AB compare it, then you might see, then you'll see the difference. But if you're just, oh, no, no. just watching it, yeah. then you're not going to be like, yeah. oh man, I, I missed this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that there is a difference in. Um, I think there is a difference, but I don't think it's a, it's definitely an improvement. But I it's I, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry if I don't have it. I, I probably care more about that. I mean, HDR 10 plus on the Samsung TVs looks gorgeous. Right, I've seen HDR 10 plus in action. 
and that's like a better version of HDR. Mm-hmm. It's like slightly, slightly more contrast, right? It looks beautiful. But the thing is, you know, is it is it worth? I'll probably end up going for a Samsung again. I wanted to get an OLED, but I think it's probably going to be because I will say I, I saw an OLED, I saw the LG OLED and the Samsung side by side, the 8K Samsung, mm-hmm. and I've got to say, like seriously, bullshit aside, it looked close. They both looked very close to each other. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So the uh, when I looked at when I saw, the, I see the AK one like all the time, so. I'm always around it. Yeah, what do you think? Doesn't it look gorgeous? It does. It does. Like, it does. It does, it does look really nice. It does look really nice. But when it was next to the um, the LG C9, like the LG seemed like it was a brighter TV. I want to see what an 8K OLED looks like. Well, like the, That's going to be the real comparison. Like the AK the was... Uh, the AK was sh- definitely... I don't want to say it was definitely sharper. But it was sharper. Like if you got closer to it, it was it was hundred percent definitely sharper, and then uh, just like what made my eye, what drew my eye to to that TV, it was just the color and the brightness of the the OLED it was more for me. It was more attention grabbing because I th- I think the OLED screen the OLED screens have like that that glossy screen to it. You know what I mean? And then the uh, the Samsung AK. My, my girl put it in the best way. We were we were in the store and she said. With 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 LED, it looks like uh, you've got a very beautiful picture in the screen. With mm-hmm. OLED, it looks like you've got a beautiful picture sitting on top of the screen. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It feels like it's more more three dimensional. Yeah, yeah. Now OLED's the way to go, but then I game a lot as well. So I mean, don't get me wrong. Kind of that, I mean, that thing is that AK TV is like super sharp. So I thought about like if I can get a good deal on that, you know, like seventy five percent off, then <laughs> then I, then I, I will get one. I'll get one <laughs> uh, because it, it's it's really crispy. No denying that. Like it's, that's that's sharp. That's really sharp. Yeah. And I, I'm talking about. I was like, with your face to it, it's you could see like detail and like tree bark and they had this uh, this starfish demo which looked kind of gross because it was so detailed. But that, that was really good though. But don't get me wrong. I mean, the, but the 4K wasn't that far. wasn't that far off though. Wasn't that far off, but I'm talking like yeah. my face was like a few inches from the screen, and it had a really good detail. No, 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 it's beautiful. I mean, I think I think if they release an 8K OLED, see, because like I was saying, I'm a heavy gamer, and you show you've done you game in the past, right? You know when you mm-hmm. when you're gaming, you've got the HUD, which is constantly there, right? So if you game. I don't want to. My problem with OLED is I don't want to be restricted to. I don't want to be watching something or playing something and thinking. Okay, I should stop now because I don't want something to happen to the TV. I don't like thinking like that. I just like leaving things, you know. Sometimes I'll fall asleep with the TV on, you know. With a no lid, I would absolutely shit my load in the morning, wondering that, what's happening to that, it. That's why you got to get those store return policies, those warranties. Yeah, but in the UK, it's not the same, bro. Hmm. In the UK, it's different. We get shot. We, you know what? Quote Joe Pesci in Lethal Weapon, they fuck you with the prices <laughs> and then they fuck you with the returns. They, they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. You know? Hey, can we just address the PlayStation 5 for a sec? Oh, yeah. Someone wanted to know about it. That's okay. 8K, right? Uh, no, it's not. And I want to clear that up because a lot of people are saying it's an 8K console. It's not. It supports 8K, mm. which means it's probably going to upscale to 8K. But you're not going to get a pure a uh, like you're not going to get true 8K games. Mm. You know, so it's just oh, it's just an up, upscaling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I think it's, it's going to look beautiful. You know, you you got some of the next range of consoles coming out in 2020 are going to be crazy. So if powerful. you ha- so if you have a um, if you got an 8K TV, then what's the point? The TV is going to upscale it anyways. Yeah, I mean you're you're getting. You know, I think I think anyone who buys an 8K TV now is doing purely. Well, I think people are doing. I think this is this is the problem, right? Because people are doing it to perhaps future-proof themselves. But I think you can't future-proof anything anymore. Technology is moving so fast that your 8K TV may be obsolete 
in two years. Mm-hmm. There's new technology, new ways of doing things, you know. I mean, look how quickly we've migrated to 8K already. 8K TVs now. You know, how long do we have 4K for? It feels like only a few years. I know it's been longer than that, but it doesn't feel like very long. Was that 8K? Uh, yeah, how long have we had 4K for? Oh, uh, four, five. about five years? I think five years, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. We're already talking 8K. That's mm. crazy. I mean, there's barely anything to uh there's barely anything to uh I mean there's still there's stuff to watch in 4K but it's not like a ton of stuff but here's the thing if we let's say you and I have 8K TV <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Starscape says spare change equals 4K king Bruce Tuck equals Z <laughs> snooze <laughs> uh, snooze okay you know it's all good it's all good this tells me everything I need to know <laughs> you're probably uh, you're probably a native. You're probably a uh, uh, what would you call? It? He's probably a what you call it? Um, never mind, Shay. Uh, I have something clever to say. I can't be bothered. Sp- I'm not going to waste my time. He's a spare chain supporter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spare chain supporters. You know, it's all. <laughs> so wait, you should buy. You should buy the. If you buy the 8K TV and then you come back, that should be your. That should be your. You come back video. King tax rules. See, there you go. There you go. Okay, okay, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Let's say you and I have 8K TVs. Does it affect our reviews? <laughs> yeah, probably. I would think so, right? It will, right? Because what yeah. it's going to do is it's going to upscale everything to 8K, which means... You can be like, fuck, this shit looks good. Everything's going to be like reference quality. You'd be like, this is <laughs> good. You'd be like, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Spray change doesn't know what he's talking about. It's reference now. Do a re re review, you know. Yeah, just do a re yeah re review. Just just yeah. I, I think that's that's what the problem is. You know, what people spare change you and the guys will do a video review. Avengers Endgame. I'm seeing it on the twenty fifth in this week. Wait, wait. When am I seeing it? Hold on. I'm seeing it. Like, what's Thursday? What's Thursday? I'm seeing it on Thursday. Thursday is the twenty sixth. Oh. No, it's not. No, that's twenty fifth. Yep. Yep, I'm seeing it Thursday. Actually, I put up a post about it. I put up a post, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you not see my post? Psst, come on. Shane, I'll be honest. You haven't I'll been... A, I know, you don't go on YouTube no, no, anymore. No, 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 listen, listen. I'm getting a lot... Now, people are getting frustrated with me because they think I've abandoned YouTube. It's not bad. If I... I'm going to come back and I'm going to do... On my first video, I'm going to tell you what I've been up to. And everyone's going to say, I get it. Is even it? you're going to say, Shane, I get it, because I don't even talk to you anymore because I'm bored. Okay? <laughs> Without that. Okay? So, no, no. Seriously, you'll understand. I'm just, I'm so tired. That's all it is. Okay, hey, but listen, um, Avengers. Should we do a little section on Avengers? What do you think is going to happen? Wait, who's going to die? I Wait, know. hold on. Avengers and Game Talk. We're going to discuss in Game Talk. I'm going to... Give you guys insight on the industry news and secrets that I know about. Oh shit! I'm just kidding. I know no. I know nothing. Okay, go ahead. What are you gonna say? Okay, 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 okay. So I think they're gonna bring everyone back. You know what I was thinking about this? You seen Captain Marvel, right? Yeah. You know they've got what you call them? Um, my mind's blank. You know the the the, the enemies. What are they called? Is she, uh, what is she? Who? Oh. Captain Marvel, she, she's got, what blood has she got in her? The, the, she's got that, she's got that like Kree blood, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, but you know the, 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 the bad guys, right? They, you know, they can shift, they can shape shift and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, the Kree. Okay, okay, so the Kree can shape shift, yeah? Do you think maybe... Loki shape No, I think he's dead. I don't know, you know. I think he's dead. I know, I, I think he's dead too, but I don't know. I don't know. I know, uh, shit. I, don't, I can't call it. I can't call it. I think I, 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 think I would be disappointed because they're saying Captain Marvel is, is, you know, she's the strongest Avenger. I think I would actually be disappointed if she was the one 
to kind of kill Thanos or, or do everything. Uh, I don't, I don't know. See, I was watching John Campier's, uh, he does, you know, John Campier's mm-hmm. shit. So he was doing a lot of videos and he, he was talking about perhaps he thinks the whole Thanos thing is going to only happen for maybe the, the first third of the movie. They're going to get that, all of that shit over with quick. And the next, and then, you know, the rest of the movie is going to be based on a different film. I don't know. I can't see the whole movie being about uh, fixing, fixing Infinity War. You know, just going back and trying to sort things out. I can't see that. I think they'd want to get this dealt with pretty quickly and then have something else. To you think so? Mm. I don't think so. You well, think they're going to spend the whole movie doing it? I don't know. Uh, for for sure, for sure, I think I think Cap's gonna die. You see, I think Cap's gonna die, and yeah. I think uh, I I think, I think he's, he's gonna replace it. Yeah, I think he's the only one that's gonna die. I don't think they're gonna kill Stark. Robert Downey Jr. is too big. I don't think they're gonna kill him. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, uh, you know Iron Man, Captain America. All of their contracts are up off. This is their last movie, contract-wise. I, I see. So I, I see. Know. I see Tony staying on as like the new, maybe like the new cameo guy since uh, you know Stan yeah. Lee's gone. So maybe he'll just continue doing like cameos. And uh, Thor, obviously, they're talking about Thor four, so Thor's not going anywhere. See, you say that, but they did an interview with with Valkyrie. I can't remember her name, right? But, but Valkyrie, right? And she was like, um, "There've been talks." But there's been no details as to who is gonna, you know, it's not really done much more than just, it's just been talked about. But then again, people, I've heard rumors that Thor's gonna die. If you think about Thor's, it, Thor's not gonna he, die. He, he typically. No, 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 but listen, I don't want Thor to die, but look at all the new, look at the new, you know, the Avengers, the new, the new lineup. You've got, look, Captain Marvel. You got Scarlet Witch, really, who's really been there for a while, but you got Scarlet Witch. Who can they? Who who are they? Who are they? Count for? Who are they, Who can they replace? Captain Marvel can replace. Thor. Not saying that she should, but she could replace Thor, or she could replace um, Captain America. See, Bucky can replace Captain America. Yeah. But then, I don't know. What do you think is going to happen? We, I mean, we know everyone's going to come back, but. But I, I don't think anybody's climbing up anybody's butts and going to explode them from the inside out. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, shit. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but, yeah, but certainly I think Captain America is going to die. <coughs> Tony Stark is going to come up with some kind of uh, fucking tech that's going to help accelerate Captain Marvel to take on Thanos. Well, I mean, yeah, Ant-Man's, Ant-Man's the uh, they're gonna go, yeah, back, I don't know. I can't call it. There's so many different ways they can do it. I think we all know that they're coming back, but it's a case of did they even, show it. Did they even talk about time travel? I don't think they discussed it, right? It wasn't never discussed no, in any of the movies. Have you seen the trailers? I only saw the first one. I didn't see anything else. You, you saw the one where they were walking in those suits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, those are the quantum kind of suits, apparently, which is for time travel. Apparently. Hmm. Don't quote me, this is what I hear. So I think there's got to be time traveling about how else are they going to get them back? Or or maybe this whole thing is a, an illusion made by Loki. Nah, no, <laughs> this, this is a whole, Loki, the it's a whole Loki illusion. You, They're going to end it like a lost. Mm, yeah, it could be. Could be. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do that, though. I, I don't know. I think Avengers is... is Wow, I, I have no idea how they're going to do this. It's three hours long, though. That's cool. I can't wait. I can't drink any beer on that day because I can't get up and take a piss. So, yeah, no, no beer that day. Just, just take a bottle with you. Oh, gee, just, I, wish I, I wish I could. Just, just piss in the bottle whilst there. Just like, don't mind me. You know, they were paying people just, to watch the whole uh, the whole 21 movies. Did you hear about that? Jesus Christ, yeah. Jesus. Why, why, why? I just watch them at home. Except for Captain Marvel. But we could just... Watching at home. Did you like Captain Marvel, Shane? Mm, it was good. I liked it. You know what I saw yesterday was uh, I saw Shazam yesterday. I still haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Was it good? 
It was okay. There's something about Brie Larson I don't like. Yeah, man, like all those interviews, she seems like she's real, uh, like high on herself all of a sudden. Did you see? Did you see the interview with her and um, Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> yeah, I did see that. They don't fucking like each other. Look, I don't give a shit what anyone says. He does not like that bitch. I did. Something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know like if they're. I don't know if the YouTube is trying to make something out of it, but uh, it did seem a little off though. Like she was like, "What did he say?" He was like, "He was like, you're not strong." <laughs> did you see that? He was like, "You're not strong." Yeah, yeah. He and how his daughter loves Wonder Woman. Yeah. And he was like, "He goes, let's let's go out, and, let's go out and fight." <laughs> He's like, "You're not strong." Yeah, no, no, no. There's some tension there. There definitely is some tension there. I could say it's sexual chemistry, but it's not one. He doesn't like her. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was like that was funny though. Mhm. But no, I'm looking forward to. It. I'm really excited for the movie. Can't wait to watch it. Uh, wow, just three hours. That's HDR. good. I like it. I like long movies. I like feeling like I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's it's gonna be good. I don't know whether they're gonna kill Thanos. Mmm. Like kill Thanos. I don't know. See, I heard a rumor, like, I don't know much about, like, uh, Marvel Comics or something, but there's Thanos, and then there's another villain called, Gal- what is it, Galactus or something? Unless I'm totally... Yeah, up. like, I don't know. Another. Yeah, he was in, uh, he was in imagine- Fantastic Four. Okay, can you imagine them teaming up with Thanos, but after they've sorted this shit out, for a bigger threat? I can see that Maybe there's a bigger threat. Well, there's... I don't know what else it could be. I mean, uh, unless they bring in Fantastic Four. I mean, they could do. They own them now, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm man. Excited. I can't do it. I took off the day. I'm not, even, I'm not even working all day that Thursday. I took off work, so... You uh, off, so, so your work thinks what? You just took off the day? You're like, I need to call up your work and just say, listen... I, t- I took over work from YouTube, you know, like you're doing for the for you, like you've been doing for the past, uh, you know, nine months. Seven months. Has it been nine months now already? Shit. Yeah, it's been like a year, you know. What I'm saying. It's all been a year. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's pretty much almost a year. I need to do it. I need. I need to do it. I need to do it. You know, um, get back on there. You know, it's like you discourage me because I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm like. Shane, this is all Shane's fault, and I'm gonna tell you why. Breast, breast so times, like, like I've got, I've got right now, I've got Karate Kid in 4K, right? I had Captain Marvel, uh, Captain uh, America, both Captain America movies. Shane, I had them a week ago, like a week ago, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna beat Shane. I'm gonna beat Shane to this shit, yeah. Then I get ready. I'm thinking, should I do a review? And then I see you posted that bitch. The reviews. I'm like, you know what? No, I need to, I need to. You, you should have did Aliens. Aliens uh, got me about 4,000 views. Come on, man. You're slacking here. You're slacking. What, what did you, I didn't see you. What did you think of Aliens? Uh, I, t- I can't tell you what it looks like. I can make you go back and watch it. Dude, I watched it. I, I, I watched it. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that looked good. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I was a fan. I thought, it looked, I thought it looked good. I didn't think it looked great, though. I guess it's true, true to the source. Close ups look good, but other than that, it was just, yeah. It was okay. Oh, hold on a second. What was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but like I said, Shane's a bitch. Yeah? So I'm glad <laughs> we sorted that out. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shane, I, ga- I gave a quick Karate Kid review. Oh, yeah, Karate Kid. I watched that. You know what? I watched the Karate Kid last night, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready for Cobra Kai. Did you watch Cobra Kai, Shane? I haven't watched Cobra Kai, no. You've got Cobra Kai is amazing. Season two starting, it is amazing. I haven't seen it. Wait, wait, what do um, you think about it? You like, you like Karate Kid, though? Do I like Karate Kid? It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Then did I, you like the 4K, though? Like, I actually watched the whole thing. I, I sat there and watched the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the 4K. And uh, the reason I know I, it's, it's a it's a it's a big it's a big it's a big improvement it's not but you gotta you know because of the age of the moon yeah it's, yeah it's kind of grainy and stuff so it looks a lot better i know this because i watched the 1080p the week before 
Mm-hmm. So, um, oh, did yeah, you see? I didn't see the 1080p. I just thought it looked like. I mean, I didn't see the 1080p, but I, I, when I watched it, I was just like, "This looks like a good 1080p movie." I, yeah. No, no, I like the. No, no, no. It's definitely an improvement, especially close ups, like little things you notice, like when he's mm-hmm. cutting the bonsai tree. You know, you see a lot. You know, there's just a lot more detail, close ups, like of the, you know, uh, the arena where the fight at the end. All Valley Karate Championship, and I really like the sound as well. You know, when the music hits, you know, like Karate Kid music. Yeah, yeah. That shit just filled up the room. I felt like I'm that. Uh, that fighting scene holds up at the end. You know, when they're fighting oh, the tournament. Sorry. Yeah, that shit holds up. That, yeah, that, that, the, that, I, the thing I re- the thing I realized about the Karate Kid was how much they were just fucking with him like the whole movie like those guys mm-hmm. like the the corpus the, the corporate guys they were just fucking with him yeah. the whole time they were just picking on him the whole time I was like dude it's fucked up every time he came to see his girlfriend at school he had a new scar on his face <laughs> like, I was like yo I was like this girl really fucking liked this guy because uh, she stuck with him like through the end of the whole movie no no but here's the thing Shane if you watch Cobra Kai right mm-hmm it gives you a different perspective of things. Like, even before, there have been a lot of YouTube videos saying how Daniel is the real bully. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, no. But if you think about it, you can see it from that point of view. Hmm. Like, think about it. Johnny's talking to his girl at the beginning. Daniel comes in, he interrupts, he tries to chat. Up. He tries to chat up Johnny's girl. If I try to come and chat up my girl, you know what's going to happen? He's going to be a hospital in this bitch. He ain't going to be lying down ass up in the sand he got me in hospital in this beach yeah no no but that's that's you see so every time then they left him alone and then that the Halloween thing right where where he he you know he was hovering above the toilet and he yeah, yeah. you know it, he's instigating shit Shane <laughs> he's a little instigator little Miyagi do instigator in this bitch well he wanted to get yeah, back so, he wanted to get back he wanted to impress his girlfriend yeah, but he did it like ages later after he got his ass whipped. You know? <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you. It's just, it's just, no, no, but, but no. Great right one, but you can see, you can kind of see, that's why you need to cover Kai, because Johnny gives his kind of impression of what he thinks happened. You know, the way he saw things. And you can kind of understand his point of view a little. You know, but, um, you know what I love though? There's things, when I watch the 4K, I don't know why, but there's things I noticed in there that I never noticed before. Just in the about it is really a good movie in the sense that um, you know the end fight yeah. where do you remember where the scene where Johnny tries to kick him and then he you know Daniel kind of lies on the floor and sweeps him yeah. and hits him on the back. Miyagi did that to him whilst he was, you know, whilst they were training. You know, he was punching me out and he was getting carried away. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of the moves, yeah, yeah, so a lot of the moves he did at the end were things that Miyagi did to him. I didn't notice that before. I thought, that is some clever shit in that bitch. (laughs) Bro, it's clever. No, 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 I, I, you know, it's it's, it's an amazing movie. I want to get, I hope they release part two because I thought part two was even better. I forgot that. Which one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he gets gets his Chinese girlfriend. Yeah, he's such a nice girl. She looks amazing. The, everybody looks at me. Go, Google the Chinese girl from Kuwait. She, she, she probably looks. She's not scorching hot. She probably looks the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your kind of people, the Thai and Chinese people, your kind don't age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Parker, aren't you? Your name is Parker. I would call you Parker. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Part three is the best. Someone just said, Fearless Freddy said part three is the best. No, uh, Jaden, Jaden's version is the best. Oh, hell no. <laughs> how are you going to study Kung Fu and call it right? That's what I'm going to do. You must be Kung Fu moves in this bitch. I don't know why they made that movie. I don't know. This, this crap is a second one. Uh, but hold on, let me let no. me let me give this little let me give the speaker a plug. Did you see this review? Same. Did you see this review? Your speaker review? 
What's the what's the lag between me talking about this and the and this video popping up? Uh, I think there was about a. Hold on, I'll tell you. No, no, there's about a twenty second lag. Holy shit, that's fucking that's that's long. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so I can't see what you... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're holding a speaker, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on, man. Everybody must just be on the whole uh, either home theater tip on my channel or just straight 4K Blu-rays, but we're giving away this guy right here. This is a, yo, this is like a $400 speaker. I think it's $300 now. All you got to do is go over to the video, leave a comment, and then you guys will be entered to win this speaker. This is a This is a Bluetooth electrostatic speaker so this is like a mini martin logan speaker you fold it up these are like these are the speakers these are electrostatic panels right here it's got the bass drivers on the front it's got the phone controls on the top just leave a comment on the video leave a comment on the video and uh somebody's gonna win this i'm gonna ship it right out to you guys i'm gonna say wow. you don't even have to be a patreon subscriber not sure you screwed up there <laughs> don't even have to be Patreon. You better be Patreon. <laughs> this is open to everybody. <laughs> even though we do give away monthly giveaways on Patreon. Just saying. Yeah, you do. Shit, I do see your Patreon. I know you do. I know you always you giving something away. I know. I like to give away stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I, called bribery. It's called the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Hold on. I think there was a question here that uh, somebody wanted me to answer. Way the heck up here. I didn't read it though. Somebody said that I wasn't paying attention. But I was. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's from Mylene HD. She's probably not even here anymore. Mm. Mylene HD, huh? She sounds like she's got a YouTube channel. You, you think so? You missed my question two times. Mylene I, HD? I don't, I, don't, I, don't see, I don't see the question here, Mylene. Should have a Man, I don't see the question. Well, Mylene had a question, but I, I don't see it though. So we're gonna have to uh, yeah skip over that one. Uh, Fearless Freddy. You know what it is, because because you know people need to start understanding because we're so damn popular. We get so many comments. <laughs> <that it's hard laughs> You're right. Yeah, ain't that many. Yeah. Uh, here, here, here's, here's a question. You still got the what soundbar you got? You still got the Sony, right? Hmm? You got the Sony soundbar, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the question. Do you prefer LG or Sony soundbars if you would have to pick? Well, I mean, I've owned both of the soundbars. I have both of the soundbars. I know you still got okay, the Sony. You answer, then I'll answer. Mm, which one do I prefer? Well, I mean, the LG soundbar does have more speakers in it to give it a more Atmosy effect. For me, I would have to go with the LG out of those particular soundbars. Wait, I, I, I don't even know which one. I'm not sure which soundbars he's uh, actually talking about. So you got to be more precise. You can't just be LG or Sony soundbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're talking home theater soundbars, I will say. I think in terms of utmost experience, in terms of overheads and, and, and more, yeah, like Shane said, a more atmosphere effect, I would definitely lean towards LG. But if you're looking for a home theater system that plays music phenomenally well and um, has a fantastic surround sound, which isn't going to really break the bank, then I'd definitely go for the, uh, the Sony. Which one do I have changed? The HZ9. Yeah, right? yeah, the Z9. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'd go to the Z9 because I'll say this anyone who's come around, Bluetooth the music across, and it's like lossless and it upscales the music. Uh, it sounds absolutely phenomenal. With the rear speakers. Without the rear speakers, it's bullshit. But with the rear speakers, it, it is fantastic sound. Z and I wouldn't even go so far as to say, I, 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 I always felt that even with the new LG soundbars, as great as the Atmos sound is, I find it a, a tad bit muddy in the middle. Jen, do you feel that way? It's a little muddy in the middle. It's not as detailed as it could be in the front. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it's a sound bar. With, That's what you get. Yeah, but with Sony, you're not going to have crazy overhead, overhead sounds. You're going to have artificial sound up top uh, because it doesn't have upward firing speakers. But the surround sound is absolutely A1. Panty dropper right there. There you go. And you can pick that up with the rear speakers for like 500 bucks, 600 bucks if you look around. So, you know, I, I would definitely go for that. Hmm. Definitely. I've not regretted it yet. Here we go. Ian, Ian Doggett says, Shane, what do you think about Sonos? Uh, Sonos speakers. Sonos speakers. You know, they make multi-room speakers. I like the Sonos speakers. They're nice, they're nice for what they're meant to do, which is to give you multi-room sound. Do I think they sound good? Mm, I don't like the sound of the Play 1s. I think they just sound like little tiny speakers. Uh, the Play 5s are decent. But if it's just for multi-room audio, then, then, then yeah, they sound they sound they sound good. Just they serve their purpose for multi-room audio. For high quality audio, I wouldn't get them. I would get something else. See, I, well, I, are they talking about general speakers or are they talking about home theater speakers? Because if we're talking about home theater, I think the first one oh. is hands down. Oh, what? They don't have Sonos over there in the UK. Yeah, we got Sonos. Yeah, you talk about the Sonos ones. Okay, Sonos ones are great, but I heard them back to back with, uh, you know, the Bose, what do you call it? What's, what's, you know, the Bose, what's, what's the Bose one? Um, the Bose soundbar. It's a big mother. It's big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which one are you talking about? They got a couple of them. They have a couple of them. Yeah, it's expensive, right? It's like uh, 800 bucks or something. It's oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the Bose uh, 700. Wait, yeah, is yeah. it 700 or 800? 700, I think. I think yeah. yeah, I think it's... I, I heard both of them side by side, and I, I have the both winning very easily. But if you're a Sonos guy, then you like Sonos sound. You know, everything has, I think both Sonos and both both have their own signature sound. So if you like Sonos, you can't really go wrong. But then I don't understand people who would get a sound bar that doesn't have DTSX or Dolby Atmos, because you're getting a sound bar for the atmosphere. Right, so mm -hmm. why wouldn't you get one with rear speakers or whatever? I don't understand that. Especially because they're that expensive as well. I don't understand. Yeah, some are expensive, man. Yo, that last one I did, the LG SL10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like thirteen hundred dollars. <laughs> wow. I know it's kind of ridiculous. It's expensive. It's not. Mm -hmm. You know you've got the, the wallpaper LCTV, right? Oh, and yeah. they come with their own Atmos speakers, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it's like the soundbar that I got. just, like, comes yeah, with it. comes with it. Atmos speaker. Isn't it a good Atmos speaker? Because I was looking at it and he's like, this is a 2.1 Atmos speaker. I'm like, what? Are you trying to tell me that I'm spending this much money on the, on, on this TV and I'm getting a good Atmos? Um. It's not even as good as the SL10? It's no, I, th I think it comes with like an SK10. I think it has the, the speakers on the top. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Yeah, that, yeah, it has the speakers on top and then and it kind of pops out of the soundbar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shit. Are Bose headphones are comfortable, not too high res, mid range, five. Bose 500. Yeah. Wait. Do we prefer. Yeah. Wait, did you see the Joker trailer? Yes. What do you think about that? Nothing. That's going to be it. You think they're going to tie that in with Batman? I think they could if they wanted to. You don't think they're going to do it though? I don't know. I think I think they've changed a lot of it. I think, do you remember, you know where he's, he's, he's kind of forcing the smile on the little kid? That could be Bruce Wayne get out. I don't know why that would be Bruce Wayne though. Because you're going to tell me, kind of you're gonna tell me there's a, a huge age discrepancy between the Joker and Batman? I don't know, because this is, this is different. I just hope, I just, you know what, as, as much as I love the trailer, and I love the trailer, and I think it's awesome, and I think he's going to do a great job, I'm worried that I don't, they made the Joker look like a very sympathetic character in the trailer. I would almost be disappointed if I watched it, and it was like, oh, he got bullied, so he became this guy. I, I... It's, it's too simple for the Joker, I think. No, nah, I, th I think they maybe they just did that for the te I think it's the teaser trailer. I think that's just like the tease 
Because at the end, he, at the end, he looked like he was pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's like, that, but that could be like, you know, at the beginning, he's insecure and he's, he's got no, he's obviously suffering from some kind of mental illness. He gets beaten up and stuff. And then at the end, he, when he becomes a joker, he's like blossomed into this super mm-hmm. villain, right? Yeah, yeah. But my whole thing is, I hope it's not a bullying story because I would kind of expect more from a DC villain than that because then you end up feeling sorry for him. So then how do you root against him? He he's going. He's going to kill people. So, but it's all right, right? So, mm-hmm. it's going to be vicious. He's definitely going to kill people, and then. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's no way. There's there's no way that little boy can be Bruce Wayne. I, I don't see that happening. Because Joaquin Phoenix is already like what fifty years old as Joker. By the time Batman grows up to be Batman, another twenty years later, that kid was like ten. He's thirty. This this dude's gonna be like fucking. Uh, he can be fucking old. Yeah, no, maybe, maybe. But this is certain. I mean, I think he could easily. I mean, I would love to see because I think the Wayne was probably Ben Affleck is a fantastic Batman. In Batman v Superman, he just became more corny and shit in uh, Dawn of Justice. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He did Batman, and he, I can see him going one, going, going up against this Joker. Makes sense. I can see that. Someone's asking, what do we think? What do we think um, of the Skywalker trailer? Oh, Star Wars. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What the fuck? I mean, they didn't really show too much, but I liked it though. It just seems like a fan service trailer to me. It seems reactionary based on the last one. Yeah, no, it definitely is because what the rise of Skywalker. Come on, man. Yeah. They did that just because people hated that they killed Luke off. See, a lot of people think you know there's people out there who think Skywalker isn't really about Luke, but it's about yeah, that like the like the Jedi. new like the new Jedi, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess. I'll be honest. I, mean, I must be the only one who's not really excited. I'll watch it when it comes. I'll watch it in December when it comes out. But I'm not like blown away. I like the trailer, but then they're they're really good at trailers. So I, I don't know. You know, I'm not excited right now. It's mm. not blowing me away. I tell you what, trailer. I do. I tell you what movie I do want to see. Hobbs and Shaw. No. Oh, shit. No. Bro, no. That looks so ridiculous, bro. That looks so ridiculous. No, when, watch it. when they showed him jumping off the skyscraper and running against the run, running across the skyscraper, I was like, no, no, no. Shane, did, Nobody. Did you watch the second trailer. I didn't watch the second one. I saw the first one was enough. I was like, wait a minute. The Rock is running across the skyscraper. Shane, you gotta watch the second trailer. <laughs> that shit seems funnier. Oh my god. No, 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 you gotta watch that. I don't wanna watch. Uh, uh, the only movies I'm excited for this year are John Wick 3. I don't know, man. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, even, I didn't even like John Wick 2 all that much. What? Because he was fucking. He was like. John Wick 1 was good because he, he realistically killed. Well, semi realistically cl- killed all these villains, these bad guys. And then John Wick 2, he just. He was a non stop fucking kill. He, there was like three separate action sequences he just fucking killed like every he must have killed like fucking 200 people in this movie Shane's subscribers <laughs> the man you are subscribed to doesn't like John Wick 2 let that marinate for a second remember you might be backing the wrong horse remember the channel channel's not about movie reviews it's about how it looks <laughs> whether or not I think John Wick 2 was kind of realistic in the way that he just went on a killing spree that he was fucking like unstoppable. No, 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 no. After like, after about halfway through the second killing spree that he went through, I was like, I was like, how many fucking guys are you going to kill, Keanu? I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. But 
it's like a mindless action movie. You know what? I heard that it, it is, but even show. even Rambo didn't kill. It wasn't that bad as Rambo. I mean, come on. Are you, are you serious? Listen, no, you might be right. You might be right. <laughs> but I heard they're making a I heard they're making a TV show based on the hotel, the Continental, right? So it's going to be that kind of world. I'd be interested. I'd watch that shit. I think they do. It's called uh, uh, the Hotel Royale. Is that what it's called? No, I thought it was called the concert. I don't know. I don't know that whether they started it. No, I mean there's a movie with Thor in it. It's called the Hotel oh, Royale. Oh no, no, that's that Battle Royale. Yeah, it's left off the mouse. Then it's like a TV show they're making based off John Wick. Hmm. That could be cool. Yeah, that could, could be cool. cool. That could be cool. But we'll see. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't kill like fucking one thousand people in John Wick Three, no, though. Because when I when I started watching it here at home and I was doing the review, I was like, I was like, my ears are actually kind of hurting because there was nothing but gunfire in it. I was like, fuck. I was like, this is uh, the soundtrack is blowing my ears right now. <laughs> it's getting to be a little too much. I was like, I was like, do you really have to shoot guns for a fucking like 20, fifteen minute killing sequence? I was like, come on. Shane, that could just be old age, you know. Mm-mm. Shane, what are you, 55 now? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you too old to be doing reviews, bro? <laughs> oh, you see. Oh, that's why, you gave, that's why you gave up. That's why you gave up. Shane, I'm like 15 years younger than you. That's why, that's why, that's, you, that's why you quit YouTube. You're like, I was too much stress on my life. Yeah. I got, I got to yeah. quit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Shane, quick question here from, from, from someone. Uh, should, should you see Avengers Endgame in IMAX or Dolby Cinema? Hmm. I'd say IMAX. I wouldn't even, how was it? Sh was it shot in IMAX? I mean, it was shot in IMAX. I'd yeah, probably, go, I'd probably go IMAX, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it I was shot in IMAX. Because, like, you want to go, like, uh, Avengers are very large scale movies, large scope. Mm -hmm. You want to see it more, you want to see it more for the spectacle than. The colors, I'd say. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I would do it. Usually I do IMAX if uh, if it's available here, I, I go to IMAX. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I, 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 there's a 3D, did I put the 3D version first? Oh, shit, I don't even know. Because I would have booked it for 3D. I, I would. I know, I know. I, know I think it's 3D over here, but we, for the theater I went to, I don't think it was offered in the 3D. For whatever reason, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Just like she said. Uh, shit, what was a 3D? Did you do it? Are you still doing 3D reviews, Shane? Yeah, I did uh, the Aquaman 3D. No, but have you ever done any, have you done any since then? Now you're thinking, yeah, what do you know, talk about? Okay, Aqu 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 Aquaman's like the only one. Oh, so you don't have, um... I don't know, How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, you have that one, don't you? Hmm. Do you have that? Maybe. I don't think anybody wow. cares. I don't think anybody cares for how to change back in. I did the 4K review like a month early. Should, should, have you seen it? Honestly, have you seen it? No, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I shit, so you don't even have that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, he's back. Parker Braden's back. Your Parker's back. He, he called you. Now family. he's calling me. Now he's calling us. He called us fags. He called us fags. Listen, I'm going to come to your house and kick your boyfriends off your bed. You better chill out. Parker Brandon in the house. Calling everybody fags. Let me tell you something, Parker. You calling everybody fags and not going to like it. You know what I always hate? You know people who have got negative shit to say, but they hide behind these little avatars and shit. We're mm -hmm. out here. Nah, I hate that shit. Uh, I like that he actually used his real name. Is Parker Britton his real name? Maybe somebody should Google. No, this is not. You know, it's not. It's probably Mike Hunt or something. <laughs> Parker. Yeah. Parker is your real name, Mike Hunt. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. So, how to train your dragon? Mm -hmm. should, I, should I give a quick review for you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. 3D. Man. Yeah, 3D. Okay. Oh, Spider-Verse. Very good. Very good. Uh, 
very good, great depth, uh, pop out moments. Uh, one of the better three D titles this year, which ain't saying much, but uh, yeah, great pop out. I recommend it. Would I recommend it over the four K? Mm-hmm. If you have a three D TV, I'd probably say three D is the way to watch it. It does have some very wow moments in it. It looks like so, it would. Yeah, would. It looks like it would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like it would. It, it's a panty dropper. No, no, no. Not a panty. Would panties drop all the way? Maybe just slide to the side slide. It wouldn't drop all the way. It's not a red panty night, but it could be, you know. You know what I mean. You'll get some action, but it won't be an amazing night. It'll be a very good person night. <laughs> mm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Uh, I definitely recommend picking it up. You know what I hate, though? I am so disappointed with Aquaman in 3D for different reasons. The uh, 3D is good. Yeah, it's good. I wasn't blown away. Great. It didn't look like a Marvel 3D movie. It did. It did. Look I don't think it did look like a Marvel 3D movie. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. No. I mean, something that colorful, you'd expect for like presentation. Yeah. But the one wait, thing I wait, don't understand. Wait, here, here's the big one. What did you think about not Aquaman? What's the let? What's the Spider Verse? Did you see that in 3D? Yes. I don't think people agreed to my 3D review on that one. What I, was your, what did you say? I didn't think it looked all that good. Everybody was just. Everybody was like, "Oh, this is like the best 3D of 2019." I was like, I went back. And they, they made. I was like, doubting myself. I had to go back and watch it again. I was like, I was like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? This looks like shit. I, was like, I, I think it was nice. I gave it like no, no, a no. seven and a half or something. It, it, no, no, it has. It does have standout moments. There's, there's a bit where, it's, <laughs> where he is as Spider Man. He's against the backdrop of a building, and you see the snow, little snow falling, and it looks like it's actually falling outside of the screen. It's got nice yeah, yeah, yeah. moments in it. Yeah, but, but, but nothing. No, nothing blew me away. I, I'll be honest. I really like the movie, but I'm not really a fan of the art style either. Yeah, me either. It was like it looked like. You're watching a 3D movie without the glasses yeah. on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I felt that way when I watched the 4K. I thought the colors looked good, but I didn't think it was all that 4K. Yeah. I don't think it's all that in 3D either. But it's mm-hmm. a fantastic movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. But yeah. It was a good movie. Yeah. But yeah. No, I wasn't blown away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, was just, I got a lot of comments. It was like, besides where's Brass Tax? Is he dead? I got a lot of comments. Was uh, I have dis- <laughs> I disagree with your comments. The 3D is amazing in this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand why. Oh, hey, Parker. Parker Brady just said, told you to take a dick in your ass. Why would you say he wants me to take a dick in my ass? That's why I don't understand. Why I don't know. I don't know. This I guy. He's looking at you right now saying, listen, he's a, he, take a dick in the ass. Parker is a racist and a homophobe, so uh, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> take a dick in your ass. Is he giving the dick or? Parker, are you giving the dick? Are you offering the dick? Yeah. Is Parker like, is he the, the shoulder grabber or the pillow buyer? What M- role is he playing? That's what M- I maybe if Parker is giving the dick, we would uh, oh. consider it. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Parker, is that what you're doing? Hmm. Sorry. You're, you're, you're making some enemies here. Shane, listen. Yeah. So, I went into the dark section of Netflix, right? You know, there's there's the dark section of YouTube every once in a while that you fall down this wormhole of all of these crazy videos. Yeah. I went to the dark section of YouTube and I watched something, a documentary, which I need you to watch. It's called Abducted in Plain Sight. Mm-hmm. Shane, yeah, I please watch it and please do a review on it. <laughs> this shit is going to make you laugh. This shit is gonna frustrate you, and this shit's gonna make you scratch your head. I don't even. Who's what? Has anyone watched that shit? Didn't you just want to break your television? Shane, you gotta watch it. You watch some. You watch some whack stuff over there. I don't know what you're doing? No, no, no. Seriously, seriously. I can't even tell you about it on here because it might not be good for you know YouTube sensitive about some of the topics people talk about. So. Wait. How do you watch 4K Aquaman? Your screen is 235.1. It's aspect ratio shit. <laughs> and Brass, with you being gone so, for so long, have you been getting your swole on? Have I been what? 
getting your swole on, meaning have you been beating your meat? Oh. I, th- I think he's asking if you beat your meat. Is that true? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Today's Sunday, right? Nah. No, uh, well, it's Easter too. It's Easter. He doesn't do that no. on Easter. No, no. I just eat. I just eat chocolate eggs. <laughs> no, 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 no. <coughs> Getting my sword and like, what have I been hitting the gym and shit? Have I been training? Up and down. That didn't sound like, did it? Uh, no, no, no. Just like up and down. I go on these binges. I train for a bit, then I eat pizzas for a bit, then I train for a bit. It's up and down. I probably look exactly the same as last time. So maybe a little younger, you know, because of the plastic surgery and all that shit. But other than that, it's all good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably look exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably. Not. Probably yeah. not getting my swallow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, yeah. let's do this. We're coming up on two hours here. God, God damn, hashtag, God damn, the fucking 4K rock star, hashtag 4K king, is getting tired after two hours. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, sh- no, no. Hold, hold on a second, hold on a second. What shadow on Netflix? No. Hmm. Yeah, Shane. We're getting tired over here. It's two hours. I had to go kill. I had to go kill contacts with my light oh, with my, my light God. with my lightsaber. Do I? Shame, shame. <laughs> you know what? I think you should just be you. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm the, I'm the best. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the best Yoda impression ever. Listen, the four K juggernaut returns. Okay. Four K juggernaut. You think the four K king, but you know what happens to kings, don't you? You should catch up on your British history, my The friend. kings always get slain, which you did. No, 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 no. I was never the king. I was the maverick. I was the 4K rock star. I was the 3 maverick. Now it's time for the 4K juggernaut. Uh, yeah, we'll see. People have been waiting for that for uh, months. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, by the time I come back, I'm probably going to be like, I'm back, guys. I'm back. <laughs> they could be like, who? Shane, who? Shane, Shane, why have you got two views on this video? I don't understand. They'd be like, who? Um, who is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. But, you know what? Uh, there's a delay on this video, Shane, right? And I just saw you with Yoda, and I'm telling you, I, I don't like the way it looks on, on, on <laughs> you, you just like seen it? Touching him, I, like, I don't like the way, yeah, just now. That was a minute ago. I don't like the way you're touching him. I don't like it doesn't look right it, it just looks suspect <laughs> yeah yeah no that's it are you gonna split this up in um i don't know you know i always feel like usually usually i split it up usually i split it up and then sometimes i think to myself who really wants to listen to us talking for two hours really <laughs> mm-hmm. i mean i guess I guess, I guess there's podcasts where it's like that but but then uh, I think, uh, who wants to listen to me talking for two hours? Who wants to listen to you talking for two hours? Shit. Hey, listen to this. Bros, I miss you. I thought you were dead. Yeah? <laughs> if you thought I was dead, where's the RIP? Where's the whole, you know what my condolences is? Where is all of that shit? You see? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think you should split it in segments for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we talk, you know, we, we talk about too much shit. Wait, hold on. There's one more comment for you. Before we end the video, there's one more comment that's left for you. Actually, I think it's left for me, actually. Can you read that? The, the show over uh, This is Shane. Welcome to Spare House. If you like cock, you came to the right place in for a view. Ass attack. I like how he says, I like how he says, in for review. Because I think I say that. Don't I say that? In for review today, we have Parker Brain and the Racist and Homophobe in for review. I think that's how I say it, right? <laughs> Hold on. 
Be- be- before- Shamal Lawrence, what's going on? <laughs> Hold on, before we before we end the video though, guys, make so sure you, you go. go. Huh? You should just keep the live stream on. You just go to sleep. I'm just carrying on talking. Oh right. shit! Oh, I'm taking over. Oh wait, movie man. It's where it sounds like 4K porn view. Okay, hold on. Guys, make sure you go check out the review for the uh, BenQ Travolo electrostatic speaker. Man, we're giving it away. All you gotta do is go there, leave a comment. Let's get them views up. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff on that video. It's like a $400 speaker. Why would you not want to try to win this thing? There's only like 80 people that are probably going to win it. But yeah, check out that video. Brass Tax here. He's gonna come back uh, sometime next year. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for checking out the video. Maybe we'll maybe we'll come back later on tonight to do another video. But uh, I'm getting hungry right now. Me too. You know what I'm saying? So that's what. So what are you mean, Shane? That's what the plan is. What Thai food you welcome to today? I got some. I got some uh, Indian kebabs. I'm going to eat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm having KFC now. Mm. Hey, Shane, can I ask you something? Why does this speaker have coochie flaps on it? I don't know. You're going to have to check out that review. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, for checking out the live stream. Signing off from me and Brass Tax. Go ahead. Say bye. Yo, take care, guys. I'm going to see you May 1st. All right.